Hello. I am here with Niloufar Salapour to discuss her article, Performance of Bayesian Area Under the Concentration Time Curve Based Pharmacokinetic Dosing, based on a one compartment model and trough only monitoring for vancomycin, which has been awarded the Literature Award for Student Research. Why is vancomycin still an important drug for us to study? So as we know, vancomycin has been in use for over 70 years, primarily as an imperic therapy for treating a wide range of gram-positive infections and mainly MRSA, which is meticillin resistance staphylococcus aurosis. While it remains highly effective, it necessitates intravenous administration and increasing prevalence of vancomycin resistance makes pharmacy's role crucial in adjusting the optimum dose of vancomycin based on the type and location of the infection. Additionally, vancomycin therapy requires dose uh, requires close monitoring of drug concentration due to its potential for causing acute kidney injuries. Older guidelines recommended trough dosing to guide therapy and maintain a therapeutic range of 15 to 20 milligram per liter. Trough dosing has shown to be associated with increased rates of AKI, which is acute kidney injury, or poor outcomes. So the newer 2020 guidelines recommend Bayesian guided area under the curve dosing to improve patient safety outcomes and provide more accurate dosing. Bayesian software uses one or two vancomycin concentration to optimize dosing. Calculation methods typically require two samples after the first dose or after a dose following achievement of the study state. However, measuring two or more concentration for vancomycin therapy drug monitoring would be more expensive and time consuming rather than utilizing one concentration as in trough only monitoring. So the main aim of our project was to test the method to estimate pharmacokinetic parameters like volume of distribution and elimination rate using a single concentration that can apply to non-study state conditions and simplify the estimation and accurately predict the dosing adjustment, which is going to be cost benefit. Where do you see research perhaps fitting into your career in the future? In the future, I aim to leverage my background in biomedical engineering and my expertise as a pharmacist to specialize in a field of combined drug and medical device research. My focus will be on creating innovative drug delivery system integrated with medical devices, optimizing usability and adherence monitoring and collaborating across disciplines to improve patient outcomes and healthcare technology. My goal is to contribute to the advancement of a health curve through the development of practical solutions as the intersection of the pharmaceuticals and medical devices. So I'm eager to collaborate with engineers, clinicians, and researchers from diverse backgrounds to address complex healthcare challenges. Interdisciplinary teamwork is essential in this field, and I believe that it can lead to groundbreaking innovations. So ultimately, my goal is to contribute to the advancement of healthcare by bridging the gap between pharmaceuticals and medical devices, creating solutions that improve patient outcomes and quality life. I'm excited to embark on this research journey and be part of the evolving landscape of healthcare technology. Congratulations to you again, Niloufar. It was certainly a pleasure meeting you. Thank you so much. I appreciate this opportunity to discuss my research and my future path. Thanks again.